Hello and welcome. This is my very first video on the topic interfaces and interdisciplinary coordination in oil and gas projects. In the typical oil and gas project, usually there are several hundred and many times thousands of interfaces. These interfaces need to be communicated and resolved at right time. Delay in obtaining the correct interface information may result in excessive reworks, schedule slippage and cost overruns. What is an interface? Interface is defined as a point or a place or a area where two or more disciplines, departments, groups or companies meet or communicate and affect each other. For development and construction of a project, the owner of an oil and gas operating company engages number of contractors like engineering contractors for feed and detail engineering, construction contractors and EPC contractors. To execute large projects, sometimes the owner appoints a project management consultant. PMC acts on behalf of the owner to ensure that the projects are delivered on time within scope and within budget. The contractors interface with owner or with PMC to get the required information and data. Generally, a large oil and gas project is split into two or more projects by the owner and is awarded to separate contractors. These contractors have an interface with each other at the battery limits which are defined by the owner. Now let's see the interface between departments of a contractor. An EPC contractor has different departments like engineering, procurement, construction, project management, project control, quality, HCC and other departments like contracts and commissioning. During the execution of a project, these departments interact with each other. There are also interfaces in each department. In engineering department, there are many disciplines like process, technical safety, mechanical, HVAC, instrumentation, control systems, electrical, telecom, piping, pipeline, and civil and structural. There are also disciplines like architectural material corrosion. All these disciplines during detail engineering phase coordinate and share the information and data among themselves. In addition to above, EPC contractor has interface with outside parties like equipment vendors, engineering consultants, material suppliers and construction subcontractors. By the way, my name is Mahibhub Timapuri. I am a practicing civil and structural design engineer with 24 years of experience. And for last 16 years, I am working in oil and gas industry. In this series of videos, I will be sharing the knowledge that I had gained through my experience while working on number of oil and gas projects. If you like this video, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel so that you receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. We have seen that interface happens in all stages and all phases of a project. But our discussion will be limited to the interfaces in the detail engineering phase. To define and explain these interfaces a series of videos will be presented. The objective of upcoming series of videos is to describe the various interfaces arising during detail engineering phase and our primary focus will be on the interfaces pertinent to civil and structural discipline. In each video, we will discuss the interfaces for design of a particular structure like a pipe rack or for design of a facility 
like oily water drainage system the agenda of forthcoming videos will be as follows what are the structures in an oil and gas project that require interface information during detailed design not all structures require interface information for some structures the interface may be only with one discipline but for other structures interface information will be required from multiple disciplines for example for design of control building instrumentation electrical hvac safety and telecom all these disciplines share their engineering information with civil in following videos we will identify the structures that are designed by civil and structural discipline and that requires interface information what interface information is required for detailed design in oil and gas projects civil structural engineer designs different kinds of structures and all structures do not require same kind of interface information for example the interface information required from one discipline will be different for design of control buildings and design of shelters and design of pipe racks therefore in the coming videos we will define and list the actual and precise information that is required for detailed design when is the interface information required engineering schedule developed by the planning group pin point exactly when the design of a particular structure needs to be completed and accordingly the civil and structural engineer needs to get the interface information well ahead of the scheduled date considering the time required to prepare the design and drawings and time required for technical and quality checking who is responsible to provide the information the information for detailed design comes from all disciplines to civil and from vendors consultants subcontractors and owners in the coming videos we will establish who are responsible to provide the interface information for a given structure or for a given facility what interface information is required to be shared by civil and structural discipline during detailed design phase some of the information needs to be shared by civil and structural discipline with other disciplines and with vendors for completing their detailed engineering work in next videos we will highlight such information and will also determine when it is the best time to share it for whom interface management is a domain of project management but the other professionals working on the project also need to have a good understanding of interfaces so that they can identify the underlying issues and possible areas of concerns for delays these upcoming videos are beneficial to a wide range of professionals the prime benefiters are of course the design engineers project engineers project coordinators who are managing the projects on day to day basis will get insight into interfaces these videos will help project control and planning engineers in understanding the sequence and flow of the engineering documents and lastly the procurement engineers who deals with external parties like vendors and subcontractors we also benefit from these videos which projects the contents of these videos are prepared bearing in mind different types of oil and gas projects such as field processing plants refineries chemicals and petrochemical plants however the professionals who are working in other industries such as fertilizers pharma biotech steel and similar process or heavy industry will also get a better sense of interfaces 
in their projects with this we come to end of this first video on the topic interfaces and interdisciplinary coordination in oil and gas projects i thank you for watching this video till end and hope to see you again for next video please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have any suggestions or questions or like to share your thoughts on this topic then please write them in comment section in next video we will see what is an project what is an oil and gas project the life cycle of an oil and gas project and importance of interdisciplinary coordination in engineering phase till then have a good time